transitioning to Blackboard Ultra and feeling overwhelmed, stick around for this one burning question. In just a moment, I'll share five essential tips to transform this challenge into a triumph in your upcoming semester. Hey everyone, welcome to One Burning Question, where we dive into educational technology and pedagogical practices to make your teaching and learning experience smoother and more effective. My name is David Grimes, and I'm excited about today's topic. Today, our One Burning Question centers on a big shift in our online educational world, moving from Blackboard Classic to Blackboard Ultra. We received the question, what are some things to look out for when my class is copying to Blackboard Ultra? Well, first, you're in for a treat as you transition your course from Blackboard Classic to Ultra for the upcoming semester. Ultra brings a modern interface that simplifies how you and your students interact with course materials, discussions, and progress tracking. And for us as educators, it means less time on administrative tasks and more on what we love, teaching and engaging with our students. Plus, you can elevate your instructional strategies with improved communication tools and analytics. But with any transition, there are nuances to navigate. And that's why Site has put together a top five things to know list to help you identify potential issues in your course copy to Ultra and ensure a smooth experience for both you and your students. So let's jump right into the top five things you need to know about this move. First up, the layout. Ultra uses a modular view, which is a game changer compared to the folder structure of Classic. This means a more streamlined, intuitive way of organizing course content, making it easier for your students to follow and for you to manage. All your content is accessible in this center area, in collapsed modules or in folders. This makes it easy to view and use on desktops, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Number two, when you copy content over, most items will transfer smoothly, but watch out for some settings and specific features like Kaltura embedded videos. They might not always work in Ultra. Always check any quiz or test questions that contain graphics or other media besides text. They don't always copy over too, and you may need to re-add them. So always double check after copying. Thirdly, let's talk about structure. In Ultra, our folder hierarchy only goes two levels deep. This might seem limiting, but it actually encourages a more organized and accessible course design. When your original Blackboard course has folders that are three deep, a folder inside a folder inside a folder, uh, or even more, that content gets pushed up to the second level. So you may have some reorganizing to do when you do the copy. Number four, course copying works differently. In Ultra, you pull content into your new course, unlike the push method in Classic. It's a small change with a big impact on how you set up your courses. So if you need a copy over a course or just a particular item or two in your course, start in your new Ultra course and use the more options button. That's that three dot icon at the top right and select copy items. Now just go back to your previous course, grab an item or two and pull it over to your new Ultra course. Finally, navigation. Ultra's main toolbar is at the top, not like on the left in the classic. So you wanna find calendar, announcements, discussions, gradebook, messages, analytics, and groups all at the top. You can't remove or add items from this so students always see a familiar menu in every class. And then on the left is the details and actions menu with options to manage your course. View your roster, open your course, mark attendance, and other options that are there available to help you out. And one more note. A new side panel on assignments and assessments gives students important information before they start in an attempt on a submission or quiz completion. These changes might take a bit to get used to, but they make for a smoother, overall nice experience. And there you have it, folks, the top five things to keep in mind as you transition from Blackboard Classic to Ultra. Remember, change can be challenging, but it also brings opportunities for growth and improvement. And if you found this video helpful, but want to have more collaboration on your move to Ultra? Let us know over in Sight and Learn AU. We're always happy to help. Thank you so much.